Dave, how's it going, my friends? God bless you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join me for a video about tower keys, collector trade, skeleton keys, all of this fun stuff, trying to get everything in the game. Oh, hopefully I can hear myself. about tower keys. Okay, it's working. Yay, okay. Alright, so, my name is Dave. David, the Jaded Rabbit, whatever have you. And I'm here to talk about a mechanic that probably isn't touched on much anywhere. Yes, we are going to be talking about Collector Trade and the 12 Tower Keys that you can obtain in the game. Now, with Collector, he's only here for certain times. Um, why is Collector important? It's because he offers Tower Keys now at the cost of, of 50 Skeleton Keys. So, really, he's an important part in trying to get all... 12 of these tower keys now why would you want these keys well these keys are useful in obtaining loot there are some exclusive skins there are some exclusive things that you want um but we are going to be trying to collect the 12th the 12th key the 12th key that i'm missing so if you check it out here i've got tower keys i've got 11 of the 12. so luckily collector is here we will be trying to get this 12th tower key as well you're here too thank you so much for turning on the notifications god bless you my friends thank you so much for joining along um how's it going Okay, Winston, Avatar, Rambo, Calum, Angel Rose, Aiden, um, Saylock, Toxic Josh. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you so much for joining along. So we are going to be answering all of your questions relating to collector trade, skeleton keys, and obtaining these tower keys. But the first thing that you want to know is that collector is only here for a limited time. If you want to be able to cash in your trade consumables or your skeleton keys i've got a ton of trade consumables and skeleton keys so if you want to cash them in he's only around every six hours so he's here right now at like 9 p.m eastern next time he'll be here is like 3 a.m eastern so keep that in mind if you want things from collector you really need to have that specific time slot open to try and get things from collector now why do i say this it's because if you notice the items here there's no tower keys the mystical 12th tower key is not here but collector is in the crypt so that means Every time that you back out from the crypt and you go back in, there's going to be different rewards. So thankfully we're on the PS5, all of this runs just a little bit quicker. Um, but yes, essentially you can do this on any system, any platform. And this is a great way of trying to get those tower keys that you might be missing. So here we have two tower keys, unfortunately both of these we already have. The one that we're missing is called the Looping Hour glass so i'm hoping to get maybe two or three of these um but infernal contract tower key this is uh, we're going to be talking about where to get all of the keys but the the one that's the most mystical is probably the looping hourglass time key which is only available through collector trade and there are some tower keys at this point that are only available through collector trade especially if you're an older player and you might have missed out on when these tower keys used to be more readily available um an example would be the um the the blacksmith tower key the one that summons the tower for cabal that used to be tied to a tower but that was moved to collector trade only although you can also get it from the 25 the quarter million dollar chest in the crypt but yeah the, it's really gonna take some soft resets here to try and find this mystical tower key i really want it i really want duplicates of it as well hopefully we can do one of the towers like the actual tower because i know that not a lot of people might have the looping hourglass tower key but as you see the rewards keep on changing each time 
you you leave the crypt and go back in. So we're gonna have to do this until we get this looping hour uh, um hourglass thing. Cause yes, unfortunately. He's only here for a limited time. Otherwise, you would have to be spending these special crypt consumables in order to summon Collector to make this kind of trade. But uh, this is, like, really how you would get all of his Collector trade items once you have the items to trade for it. So, if you recall, there are, like, several different kinds of chests that are available in the crypt. Now, the the ones that you refill and you put on Kenshi's blindfold to access, these have the highest chance of dropping trade consumables to trade with Collector. So you're not seeing any of the fancy trade consumable options with my collector because I've already done these trades with him. But if you are a newer player, trying to get some specific skins or gear pieces, this is only done if you have the trade consumable but uh, the tower keys are what we are sort of focusing on right now because this is what i'm looking for but this particular tower key that we are looking for this looping hourglass the usefulness of it is that once you get the tower and complete it you actually get bonus profile xp so it's a good way of grinding levels trying to like continue with the consecutive win streak mechanic but um the other towers, they do offer, like, exclusive skins, and that's the only way to get some of these things. So I'm trying to get this stupid tower key. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh boy, it's not here. Ah, ah. But yes, a lot of the a lot of the tower keys that you can get in the game, you can get from Race Against Time and Towers of Time. Um, but those tower keys, mm, mm, a lot of them, if you are using tower keys to get currency like hearts souls coins it's probably not the best method of doing this okay so we're not getting the stupid looping hourglass must get it otherwise he'll be gone and then i won't have this this tower key which is exactly why i was waiting to make this video because i want the i want the i want the 12th key i i used i used to have it but then i used it but having duplicates now that it's cheaper it's in your best interest to try and get these tower keys all right. Okay. So yes, this is this is the Ageless Hammer Tower Key. This is the one that I was talking about before. If you are like an older player or or a newer player and you never did this Ageless Hammer Tower Key, it does have like a linked like um exclusive exclusive skins and gear pieces linked to this tower so for cabal specifically now this used to be available in towers of time but they moved it to like the skeleton key option for trade with collector which is kind of aggravating but if you are like newer and um you haven't already done like all of the things in the crypt you can still get it from that chest that costs three thousand soul and then a quarter million soul yes oh boy okay trying to get this thing i must have this i'm an older player and haven't seen half of these keys oh boy midori dad yes okay so yes i really think that you should like spend time trying t trying with collector even if you have the stuff now like you could make the trade now which is 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 probably in your best interest. I think he's only around four times a day. So it's hard to try and catch him. Otherwise, you're going to have to use, like, that coin to summon him. Ugh, collector coin. You can get collector coins, too, but... Mm, we are looking for this 12th mystical looping hourglass tower key. If only I could get it. Hopefully we can get it. Oh, we got it! We got it! Yay! 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 Yay. Yay, we got it. The mystical 12th tower key. So here it is. Looping hourglass tower key. This features Cassie and Jackie. Give me. Give me. Yay. Okay, so. Nice. Done. <laughs>
<laughs> Done. I'm happy. Okay, so let's go back to the different tower keys and let's talk about where to get all of these different things. Okay, so uh, also let's take a look at the comments. I'm glad that I got through that like soft resetting process. Yay! I can't find the last collector trade skin. You get the dark priest robe or something, but it's a gear skin. I've never seen it in a tower. So, um, like if you are looking for collector trade items to get a gear piece or a skin, um, yes, try those like um Kenshi's blindfolded chests. Okay, so now we have the full set of twelve. I'm happy. Okay, so let's talk about each of these tower keys because each of these things should be relatively easy to obtain. So, okay, so the first one is Shimmering Stone Tower Key. Honestly, I don't see why anyone would have a purpose for using this tower key. You can obtain it very easily from a number of, like, rapid towers. They offer it sometimes as the completion rewards or the objective rewards. There's many towers that can drop this um, Shimmering Stone Tower Key, which is... Mm, not so hard to obtain. As you can see, I have 242 of these things. Not needed. Alright, so the next one is probably something that you would definitely want to do. Infernal Contract Tower Key. Now, this thing features eight different opponents and you get, like, eight different skins from this one tower. So doing the Infernal Contract Tower, Crack the Vault Tower, um, very good, but you can only obtain it from one tag assist tower so this tower here for the three hour slot this is where all of like the uncommon tower keys really come from um including that infernal vault tower key so this thing infernal contract tower key let me see um uh what is let me see okay yeah i think it, i think it's like a tower that features sonia or cetrion like the like the original Original, like a tag assist tower i think it's a sonia tag assist tower that gives you that that um particular key so yes you can do that one tower and it will come um the other thing here is beating sealed heart tower key now this thing is uh, uh, obtainable from rapid towers same thing goes for the um pulsing soul box tower key um these two you can find from rapid Rapid towers. I think this one comes from a Raiden tower. This one comes from like uh, a Baraka tower. But these are pretty much easy ways of getting hearts and souls. But even easier would be to rely on like Rambo or Frost for like an augmented currency build i uh, would not recommend using these tower keys because these things are not replenishable normally like the the stone the shimmering stone tower key if you do this on repeat completion it is likely you will get another one of these stone tower keys um with the soul thoroughbull tower key you will always get another soul thoroughbull tower key once you complete the tower so it's a good like this one is completely like renewable and it's a way of getting gear pieces and skins for any character in the game. So this Soul Thurible Tower Key is like a is like one of the better ones if you are like a newer player and you're trying to get more loot, more gears, more skins, more something for a particular character. Now, how do you get the Soul Thurible Tower Key? There is a tag assist that offers it. However, it's more commonly seen in, like, these towers on repeat completions. Not necessarily on brutal difficulty, but heroic towers where you do have this, like, format of three different towers. This is really one of the best ways of getting the sole thoroughbull tower key. Um, and prior to stage six in Lucky Towers, this was one of the best summonable towers to do very very nice okay so now like let's um come to like some of the more um rarer ones okay so battle singe tower key this comes from a scorpion tag assist tower so it would be a tower in this three hour slot you would be able to get this thing oh boy okay here we go let's let's pull up the tower keys yes um this one pain of sied tower this one is for noob cybot and uh, i feel like th this one Screaming Spirit Tower Key and Ageless Hammer 
tower key. If you don't already have these things and you're an older player, you are probably left with only collector trade as your only options of getting the ageless hammer tower key and the screaming spirit tower key so yeah this stuff has things for noob and things for cabal and it, it is possible that they might have like sw switch around like swapped around the loot pool made some of these things more easily obtainable because there was exclusive skins to this mystical 12th tower key but um they they actually added that to the aftermath story loot so it is possible that they'll like switch things around in the future or yeah to make things more easily accessible because getting all of these tower keys it does take some time if you are new um roiling magma tower key we didn't talk about this one but this one you can get from tagasis towers so essentially trying to get things like the ageless hammer tower key as well as the screaming spirit tower key that's pretty much limited to collector trade as well as the looping hourglass tower key um if you are an older player if you're a newer player you actually have um some options to get some of these tower keys very easily so let's go back to the crypt all right so in the crypt, when you're doing, like, opening up things for the first time, um, there is in the Deadwoods. Okay, let's go to the Deadwoods. Oh, we can actually take the elevator. Smart. Let's take this elevator. Um, yes, uh, when you get to the Deadwoods, there's, like, a glowing orb in the water you pull that out and when you spend money in that chest it it, it costs you three thousand souls so it's, it is kind of costly if you are new and you're just trying to get these things but uh, really w when you open the next chest that comes after it you'll get all sorts of tower keys so it's over here this thing this chest. Now, I've opened this thing numerous times, so I, you know, I, I don't have this option available to me. But if you're new, you can get the Ageless Hammer Tower Key, as well as Soul Thurible Tower Key, from this chest. So that's a good way of getting some tower keys if you are, like, a newer player and you didn't know that. Um, but that Mystical Twelfth Tower Key, that Looping hour, um, Hourglass Tower Tower key. Uh, let's try and get a duplicate of it because I do want to do this tower with you guys, but um, I, I don't want to lose the tower key. I'm such a collector. I have OCD. I have terrible OCD. But getting all 12 of these things, it might be um, a little tough. A little tough if you don't have the skeleton keys on hand. Unfortunately, there's no hanging bodies. Hanging bodies are the best way of getting skeleton keys, which allow you to trade with collectors. So let's see if we can find one here. But they have the highest drop rate of getting skeleton keys. Um, quite... Uh, quite often you'll get hearts instead, but you do have a chance of getting um, skeleton keys, which is better than trying to open just a bunch of random chests, which actually cost currency. It doesn't cost you anything to spear a body. So let's try and find another looping hourglass tower key. <laughs> Must get this. Collector, please don't disappear. I need you. Okay, so, um, uh, so, like, as you see, the rewards here, they will be changed once we do the reset. So let's try this. Hopefully we don't have to reset too many times to get this looping hourglass tower key. Um, but with the looping hourglass tower key and the lucky key, these were both unreleased keys in the game for a while um they were not in the game for a long while yeah um they added the looping hourglass tower key sometime last year i believe or maybe at the end of 2019 um but it, yeah it's always been accessible through this collector trade mechanic however it used to be very costly at 200 skeleton keys now it's not so hard you only need 50 but getting 50 it will probably take you 
not gonna lie, like, probably a couple hours. It'll probably take you a couple hours trying to get, like, the 50 skeleton keys. Maybe two or three hours? Yeah. It's really tough. Really, really tough. Alright, okay, so let's see the comments. Let's see what you guys are saying as we go through this reset process. Okay. Hi there, um, Joel Rambo main. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining along. No, Dave, not always. It's possible for it to give coins only on second repeat. Oh, okay. Um, yes, that's, uh, that, I'm pretty sure with the Soul Thurible Tower Key, it is, like, a completely renewable tower key. You do it on the repeat completion, you get it again. Um, but yes, if you ever do have difficulty trying to find one of these things... Finding Collector here during this, like, specific hour for trading, it's, it's tough. Like, uh, I understand what the developers were trying to do when they created this mechanic. The, the idea is that you go to Towers of Time, you, like, go and get some things to give to Collector, then you come here and trade with him. However, it doesn't make sense for me to give up my yin-yang coconut for a shard of life. I don't need shard of life. I have like life stealer level 4. I have like level 4 armor clad. I don't need shard of life times 10. So I'll keep my yang yang coconut. Thank you. Um but uh this collector trade is also useful in identifying like what mm, collector trade items you're missing. So if you're still trying to um like let's say you're still trying to get all of the skins from collector, it would be a good idea when he's here to just go through and see like what are the different items that you need to collect for him. <laughs> that's 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 what I did. Um, but really trying to get those hidden chests. That's also where a lot of these trade items come from. Oh boy. Okay, looping hourglass. Please give me. Please give me. Ah. I collect only the finest. Mm, no. No, it's not there. Darn. Darn these keys that are so rare. But yes, uh, the Looping Hourglass was one of the unreleased keys. The other unreleased key was the Lucky Key. And I believe that it was data mined from the, like, the files of the game on the PC. That they had found out that there was a key that was supposed to give you Time Crystal. Which would have been super cool if you did have, like, a summonable tower that gave you time crystal. But I do like the lucky key um, mechanic where you can get level 4 augments. That's also very nice. And I guess if you want all sorts of time crystal, join the members club. We have secrets. <laughs> we have secrets. Okay, so, uh, collector, come on. Give me the thing. It's not there. It's not there. Yeah, after seeing, like, all of the different things that he offers, there are just some things that I would just not recommend exchanging your items for. But totally, you have to exchange those items to get the skins, if you're missing the skins, or the gear pieces. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Ah. Collector. Ah, it's just like all of the tower keys except the one that I need. I'm not too sure if that's like some sort of RNG or if this like mystical 12th key is just more rare than the others. But as you see, it is taking some some resets to try and find it. But I do recommend you get this thing because, hey, if you want everything in the game, this is one way to do all of the content in the game. Which is my goal. My goal indeed. Okay, here we go. We got another one. Yay. Yay. Okay, give me. Thank God I have all of these skeleton keys. Okay, so how do you get all of these skeleton keys? Okay, let's go back upstairs. So this is when I was new. This is what I, w I used to do in the crypt. And I think it's still one of the best ways of trying to get a lot of the things out of the crypt. Um, it's running around this upper courtyard area. Now, if you've already, like, if you've already, I would say, like, run around everywhere in the crypt, unlock everything twice. Everything. Absolutely everything. Um, and then once you've done that... Oh, something tried to attack me. Oh, okay, alright. Um, there are these hidden chests. So these hidden chests 
are like really um super uh, like they have a high probability of giving you like gear pieces that you might be missing as well as trade items to trade with collector to get more skins and gears so yeah opening up the hidden chests in this area is super easy because there are just so many so like there's the two in the middle then there is it don't come for me ah okay yes yeah, so there's also like a bunch all around the perimeter of the um of this like courtyard area um, and, uh, as well, like, when you go around the courtyard area, there's just more, more and more. So just making, like, a full circuit all around the crypt here, this is a good idea if you're missing those trade consumables to get them. Um, as well, you've also got a bunch of hidden chests here. Here. So these are all of the hidden chests that are, like, here in the courtyard. Um, I would not recommend going into Shang Tsung's throne room. There's... It does not have the same same likelihood of doing doing what you need. Um, and there used to be... Let's see. Where is it here? I think it was this one. One of these chests here, back in the day, this thing used to give you, like, skeleton keys on every try. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Wow, okay, it gave me a skeleton key on my first try. But yeah, um I guess like opening up these chests here in in the um palace entrance, they're a cheap way, but there's like a, a chance of getting skeleton keys from it. Um as well as the chests inside of Shang Tsung's throne room, they have like a better chance of dropping those um, whatchamacallit, it? skeleton keys. But getting 50 of them, that's what you need if you want to get all of the skeleton keys. Now, um, spearing dead bodies, this is like a very, like, free way of doing it, trying to get skeleton keys. It'll also give you lots of hearts. Well, uh, it used to give you lots of hearts back in the day when there wasn't augments to give you so much hearts. Now, probably the best way of getting hearts is through through the augments. But the bodies here, they're really here for the op opportunity to get some keys. So let's open up these things. Maybe we'll get one. Yeah, we got one. We got a skeleton key. So, like, just, like, running around here for, like, five minutes, I got, like, two skeleton keys. Nice, right? Like, it's not hard to get these skeleton keys if you know where to look. Um, I see some bodies over there. Let's, let's spear them. Now I just want to spear them all. Yes, spear. So all around this courtyard area, there's just so many hanging bodies. So um, the thing about the hanging bodies, the way to re uh, reset them is the same way you reset collector trade. So you leave the crypt, and then you go back to the crypt. And then there will be more bodies for you to, like, spear. So it's a good way of getting skeleton keys quickly, easily. I think it's fun. It's There's something satisfying about hearing um, these guys just... Wah! Wah! Rip! Splash! Hearts! Yes, I enjoy it. Okay, so now we've, we've got our loot. I'm so happy. Yay! Looping hourglass tower key yay we've got it okay so let's do this thing now um I, I figure that not everyone has seen even this tower key because it is like i think the most rare in the game like a lucky key you can get with completing any other tower key as you see right any other tower key you're gonna get a lucky key which is easy but this looping hourglass key it took me some resets but i got it we okay let's do it all right warrior forged in battle let's go oh boy okay so um what do i need what do i need okay let's take rambo all right okay let's also put on this thing yeah okay all right okay we Rambo. All right, so we're just gonna Rambo this tower. That'll be easy. Um, Rambo is really good at clearing everything. One of the best builds in the game. Yes, really good. Um, I, I would also say Frost is also really good, but whatever your augment build of preference. It'll totally work, too. These fights should not be too hard. 
But there are just like a lot of like modifiers I see going on too, which is crazy. Um, I think we should take a look at the profile XP because there is supposed to, there is supposed to be a bonus. Oh wow! Look at all the math going on. What is this math? What is this? How am I getting minus three thousand XP game? Game, why am why are you broken again? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, yes, lots of XP going on with the consumable bonus. Um, but there is also supposed to be a bonus going on just within this tower. This tower is also supposed to be giving you a bonus. I'm not too sure if I'm seeing it though. Hmm. Questions. Questions. But yes, this used to be the only way to collect all of the skins for Jackie, was by doing this long, arduous process until the release of Aftermath. Um, that is to say, if, like, if you don't have Aftermath, there is a sale going on right now. Get, the, get all of the ultimate add-on bundle or something, yes, we might do a video about this. Um, I do like me a sale. Sales are fun. Um, but I do like me a like as well, so if you're here, please do leave a like on the video. It lets me know that you're interested in these kinds of, like, not thoroughly explained mechanics in the game that... I don't know, maybe people don't really appreciate. Because for me, I really do want to experience all of the content of this game, I guess, before it goes away. <laughs> I feel like the two-year anniversary. There better be something coming up for this two-year anniversary coinciding with the release of this movie. Hmm. Hmm. Questions. Okay, so, Liu Kang. Bye. Bye bye. All right, let's take a look at the comments. I replayed a collector tower four or five times. I didn't get any collector coins. Oh boy. Um, yeah, some uh, collector coins sometimes they show up as repeat completion rewards, but really trying to get collector coins, it's probably better doing that by opening up chests in the crypt. Um, I opened almost every chest except for the ones behind the gate at the medallion puzzle. You have to open all of them, my friend Darkseid. That's how you get everything. How do you get Lucky Rabbit's Foot Augment? If you know, please tell me. Do some Lucky Towers, and hopefully this Lucky Rabbit's Foot Augment will drop for you. I've heard, um, stories from other people that they have gotten their lucky rabbit's foot from there but i would say don't worry too much it's not that useful okay um let's see what you guys are saying to hope all is well i didn't know there were 12 tower keys <laughs> yeah i i understand that jason i don't think a lot of people realize that as well um but uh, yeah i think even for like an older player or a newer player this definitely represents like a challenge of like trying to get everything in the game because you can like Exclusive loot, exclusive skins are locked behind these towers. Um, like that Infernal Contract one, the Pain of Sied Tower, like the Ominous, um, that thing. What, what, what was it called again? The one with, like, the, the purple swirlies. <laughs> the purple swirlies. The one that's for Noob Saibot. The Ageless Hammer Tower Key. All of these things have exclusive skins and gear pieces to collect. Okay, so let's, let's open this stuff. Let's, let's get Jackie. Let's, let's... Ah! 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 Jackie! Alright, we got her! Okay, alright, so let's see what we get. Probably nothing. <laughs> we already did this tower a while ago. I, I think maybe a year ago, even. Um, but really trying to get these keys... Hmm... Seems hard, but if you go around spearing dead bodies in the crypt, you should be able to get all of the skeleton keys. Yes? Yeah, I got two skeleton keys during my short stay in there. So let's see. Anything good? No. Just level one augments. Alright, so let's take a look at the oh, completion rewards. They're looking pretty good. There's um, a gear piece, uh, a gear level up tokens, as well as some currency, um, but uh, we're not seeing anything else, which is unfortunate, but we did get a lot of XP out of that by using that consumable, but yeah, it doesn't look like there is that added benefit. Maybe that was like, 
Yeah, okay, so there was, like, unplanned, like, like, there was, like, planned things for these, um, keys that just never happened. Specifically, the lucky key, which was supposed to give time crystal, and this looping hourglass, which is supposed to give... Well, I think it... I thought it was supposed to give extra XP, yeah. The ancient warriors trapped in time offered increased profile experience. Okay, you... you I, I'm so confused. Uh, let's, let's, let's try it again. I'm just kind of perplexed. Where's the extra XP? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I wasn't understanding the math. Sometimes that can happen, these, like, numbers. Oh, no, we don't need the AI. We actually need to play, so let's back out. So, yes, um, there was one that was supposed to give you extra, like, time crystals, but that never made it into the game. And this one that's supposed to give you extra XP, well, this is debatable game. Debatable. I, I put a lot of effort into getting this key, and it doesn't seem to be profiting me. Okay, let's let's kill Kotal, and let's take a look at the numbers again. Alright, okay, Kotal, you're going down. Ah! Ah! I can understand why Rambo roars. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to roar when you're shooting a gun. I understand it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so n numbers. Lots of crazy numbers. Okay, so we didn't get the flawless, which is okay. Mm, what, is, what is looking different here? I guess the... No. No. No, it all looks pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so perplexed. I mean, it's mis misrepresentation. How dare they? I was expecting more XP, but I could get this kind of XP like other places as well. Hmm. 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 I'm sad. I'm sad. But at least I have all twelve tower keys now, and I hope that you try and get them too. This tower used to probably have more significance prior to aftermath, but um, I'm glad I have all twelve keys again. Um, I really need to. Uh, oh boy, ban George Bush because I guess we're not part of this. Here, let's. Uh, what, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, George Bush? What, what, what are you saying? Oh boy, are there any good tower keys? Yes, there are good tower keys. Like I said, Ageless Hammer Tower Key, Roiling Magma Tower Key, uh, Screaming Spirit Tower Key, Battle Singe Tower Key, Infernal Contract Tower Key. Ritual can't like all of the towers you should do at least once because there are like skins and gears to like get for every uh, like all, all sorts of characters. Yes, you should try and do these at least once. I think that's part of the MK11 experience. Um, also trying to deal with collector. And trading with him. That's part of the experience, too. Um, but I am going to... Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I think that we've covered all 12 keys. How to get them. How to get the trade consumables. How to spend it with Collector. We also got some skeleton keys, which is nice. Yay, Collector. Let's also take a look at Jade. Because I love Jade. And you can't get everything for Jade unless you do the Infernal... Something? What was it called again? Infernal Crack the Vault Tower? Infernal Contract? Yes, that thing. It features a skin for Jade, where she looks very green and lovely. I'm into it. So this thing is exclusive to Summonable Towers, and this is, like, not the only thing that's exclusive to them. So if you are trying to get all of the skins, all of the gears in the game, then you really need to seek out collector seek out those tag assist towers seek out those rapid towers that drop the tower keys um and get some skeleton keys because yeah unfortunately you will have to do some trading to get all of them at this point um yes okay so um i think one of your augments swaps each soul for a thousand coins yes that's called dark magic it's a it's a currency augment can jay technically count as a leprechaun yes 
toxic. JB, how much have I missed? Maybe the whole thing. Okay, all right. Um, love you guys so so much. A like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly greatly appreciated. It helps with everything that we do here at the channel. Helps get the news out there about fancy like movie events, the crypt events, new towers, general tips augment builds i cover it all here that's because i love this game so much and i really love you guys so so much too please join my twitter my twitch my discord um as well as like my members only club because there is just so many secrets inside of the club including glitches strategies on being number one and um other games yes we have other games too only in the secret archive um but uh, uh, you're also entitled to a precious sing song every day um so i have made this thing to commemorate all of my wonderful members in the club send some emojis in the chat would love it would totally love it okay so give me a second <clears throat> My dear Joel, Shang Tsung has captured his soul, cries out for relief, but he just got Melina's teeth. Cider Mike. Tries hard till he's won the fight. Oh, what is it worth when Ragnar leaves Jade hurt while sparring? Jason, Sean is grinding towers for more power. Razor ranks cut deep. And Jeremy's losing sleep. Suddenly a fatal blow while singing to my friend Vasco. While Ka while Roscoe jams to Kylie Minogue. Cause we are a fam. Now Jax has me on the run. Bionic arms just having fun. Now come on, tell me, Marky Mark. Cause we are a fam. Oh, Mr. Green. Alone on Switch with no PvP. Waiting for you in. Jones has got the skins. Like atomic fires, narcotics has got me wired. Oh, what is it worth when JD eats from dirt? I'm raiding for loot. Ryan and I will dance when we've done good. Caleb joined the fam. And so has Alan. Suddenly there's Mr. Krabs. Truly carry going for grabs. Dante, we need to have a match. Cause we are a fam. Now you have me on the run. My bunnies are just out. Having fun now come on tell me everyone cuz we are a fam and my builds are no good against the tower that it made of you feelings run so deep there's no more victory These songs are getting so long. I'm dying. Okay. All right. Yay. 
Yay! Uh, yay! I love you guys so, so much. Do you like sing songs? I love you guys too. Okay, so, um, wow! Wow! I hope you guys are just having lots and lots of fun with the game. I hope that you're getting all of the tower keys, all of the time crystals that you want. Um, but I'm praying for you to just be safe, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye, my friends. Take care. Peace. Love you guys.